Hey guys, Rieta here. Einstein called it the eighth wonder of the world and clever investors are using it to grow their money exponentially over time. Yes, I'm talking about compound interest and how that can work for you. So in this video, I'm going to take you through exactly what is compound interest, how is it calculated, how much um, your money, 100,000 rands, will be in say 20 years from now and how does it how does how does it actually work how does the mechanics of it work and then obviously i'm going to bring it close to home and i'm going to explain to you how compounding actually works in real estate and how you can turn 50000 rands into 1.1 million rands of sweet cash in your pocket so that's what this video is all about if you like it spread the word so we can all take advantage of this wonderful phenomenon in, in finance and click that like button for the youtube algorithm so we can spread the word cool let's get to my board the first thing you should be asking me is but Greta, if it was that simple wouldn't we all be rich right now right so the answer is yes we should actually but because it's not really that complex but we just not we don't know about this and we're just not disciplined enough um, to wait for that return to compound over time anyway so let's get going first of all i think the most important thing is to understand what is the difference between simple interest and compound interest so let me draw it up on the board for you Simple interest is literally when you have a capital amount, let's make it 100,000, and that interest percentage of say 15%, your interest percentage is going to stay the same 15% every single year. So in year one, you're going to earn 15,000 rands of interest on your initial 100,000 rands. In year two, you're still going to earn 15,000 rands on your initial amount of money. So therefore, your total interest that you will earn over 10 years will be 150,000. And after year 20, it will be 300,000 rands, which sounds cool, right? Well, let's look next at compound interest and what is that? In, you still have your 100,000 rands times 15% per year and you investing for 10 years. Compounding, by the way, can happen on a daily basis, on a monthly basis and on an annual basis, a yearly basis, right? So the more frequent it happens, the better for you. Because what does compounding mean? It means that you're earning interest on interest. So at what point do you now say, okay, well, I've earned one rand. Do you say that every day and then day two you're earning money on the interest you made yesterday? Or do you wait, how much money did I make for the whole of the month? And then on the first of the next month, I, I earn interest on my interest of the previous month, right? So basically, it just means that the more frequent, the better for you. So, but in my example, I'm just going to use a simple, simple example, and we're going to do it annually. So after year one, you have earned uh, 15,000 rands, the same as this side. But now in year two, the calculation is you have now 100, which is your initial money, plus 15,000, okay, so your total now is 115,000 rands. So your interest of 15% is now calculated on the 115,000. So it's that times 15%. I don't know what that is. So after 20 years, your interest would actually be 1.537 million rands, right? Because now you're repeating this formula every single year. Therefore, your total investment here will be 400 with simple interest and 1.637 million because it's just 100,000 initially after 20 years. So you see why it's called the eighth wonder of the world? I mean, this is literally 
amazing. Right, so now the next question is, how is it actually calculated? So I'm going to give you the formula. The formula is very simple for mathematicians, maybe. I can't believe I did so much math at school because it seems difficult these days for me. Anyway, so the formula is that the amount that you're going to have is your initial capital times 1 plus your percentage as a decimal that you're getting divided by the number of times you're going to get it to the power of the number of times you're going to get it and the time that has passed. Okay? So that's the formula. What is the formula? And I, I'm actually, you know what, I'm not going to sit here and do math with you because that's way too boring. Um, my husband will kill me if he hears me now. But I'm actually just going to do it on a nice simulator on the computer for you in a few minutes. But in the meantime, what does the graph look like? Because that is the, that's the part that gets me excited. <laughs> cool. Here's your graph. And over time, year one, here's your time. There's your rand value. Over time, year one, two, etc. up to 20, you are going to give your 100,000 initial investment, it's going to sit there and it's going to stay the same, right? You're not adding extra money every year and then every year you can have a little piece of interest that comes on top of that. Year two, it will be a little bit more. Year three, a little bit more. And over time this graph um, or should look like a very other recent familiar type of graph, but this is good, good, right? <laughs> it looks like this goes up like that and this is all your interest and that's your initial capital amount over there so the longer you wait the longer you do this the bigger the benefit to you and that's what people don't understand they say oh but there's such a little bit of money it's like really does it matter but yes it does because the longer you wait just be patient and you will you will get you at the end there Right, so now I want to bring it home, a little bit closer to home, and which is why I'm so excited to do property. And I'm going to show you how this effect with other properties, with other, <laughs> with other effects or dynamics in property, can actually even grow that amount even more. Right, now to explain to you how this works in property, you first need to understand the three ways of uh, making money in property. Right, so I'm going to draw you a picture. You're going to get um, in property over time, okay, there's going to be a, um, a bond. So you're going to take, say for instance, so in this example, I'm going to use a 1 million rand property with a 10% of that is going to be cash that you would need maybe for your transfer fees for a deposit etc so that's a hundred thousand rands okay so now we're buying a one million rand property here's the one million rands let's make it there in the middle there one million right but you only paid a hundred thousand of your own money towards this over time this is time and this is the value of your property over time you're going to this 1 million rands of property is going to grow in value over time right so it's going to go like this eee, the value is going to go up but that's not the compounding part of it although it is pretty cool um <laughs> the other part is that this is a i'm assuming this is a, a you know investment property so you're renting it out so over time i'm not paying the bond my bond is actually the property is 1 million but the bond is actually only 900 because I'm applying all of this towards bond fees right or deposit anyway over time your tenants are paying off this 900,000 so the bond amount does that and over time it becomes zero did I pay for that no I didn't so if I then to say after 20 years I then go and I sell my property I'm gonna sell it here Let's assume after 20 years, it's doubled in value. If you buy well, that can happen much sooner, but let's say 20, uh, 2 million after 20 years. So now 
I have turned my 100,000 rands, which was my cash, okay? I didn't supplement any money towards the rental or towards the down payment here. 100,000 rands I turned into 2 million rands. But that's not all. <laughs> you actually also received rental for this property. So I'm assuming for 1 million rands property, you're going to get, to make the calculations easier, you're going to get 10,000 rands a month. Okay. I think I need a new paper for this one. New paper. Yay. All right. So to explain the next part is I want to explain to you how does the rental come into, into this as well. Because now remember, you're renting out this property. So we're assuming that we're going to get 10,000 rands a month from the rental. Okay, so your tenants are paying that per month for the property. And I'm going to deduct 50% of that. Sometimes it is a bit more, but for this example, I'm going to use 50% of that is going to go towards expenses. So your net rental is going to be 5,000 per month. Right, so but then um, we are for year one, you're going to get 10,000 rands times 12 months is 120,000 rands for the year. Okay, in year two, we are going to now increase, and this is where the cool compounding part of property comes in, because we're going to increase the rent by 5%. And 5% is a reasonable amount. I mean, in some areas it can go up to 10% or even more. So, but I'm going to use 5% in this example. So my rental is going to go from 10,000 rands a month to 10,500 rands a month. And times 12, 126,000 rands for that year. In my in year, the second year, or the third year actually, this is year two, this is year three, 5% up again. Now we're going to charge, okay, times 12, that's going to give us 132, 300 for the year. At year 20, minus your 50%, Okay, if you add up all of this rental here, you would have earned, guess what, 1.98 million rands of rental. Now, if you put that into a savings account, yeah, right, <laughs> but we can say that um, that's money we received. So how much money did you receive in total for, what was our initial amount, 100 thousand how much money did we get we got because remember there's the three ways of making money the one is in the growth of your property the value doubled right so it went from 1 million to 2 million all right so that's 1 million rands growth that we the income that we received or uh, money that has grown to 1 million and we've got the bond that went down, that your tenants repaid for you, remember? How much money did you get from that? It was 900,000 because that was our initial bond amount. And remember, the tenant did pay back a lot more than that, but it doesn't matter. The value to us was 900,000. And then your rental income, which was a very cool 1,98 million. So what does this actually give you in the end was 3.88 million rand. And that's what I like to call the property effect. All right, cool. So <clears throat> how does that compare with other methods? Let's see, we had simple interest, which gave us 600,000. We had compound interest, normal compound interest that gave us what was that again? That was 1.6 million, I think, 6.3 million. And then we have what I call the property effect, which gave us 3.88 million. And that is why I just absolutely love property and why I believe in property as a best investment ever.